call this the salt and pepper sun because as we could see there's a lot of sunspots uh, peppered all across the sun and I, we actually have kind of like two layers of it so I got my little sea star out there and we're going to put this up here and this is the this is what the sea star currently shows all right and what I'm going to do, because I'm going to image this as well. I'm going to put this right over here. And it's auto-focusing uh, right now. And when it's done, we'll be able to see a little bit more. We'll be able to see these sunspots clearer. We also see some surface detail up here, too. And just for a show and tell, I'm going to... Um, um, Go into, I'm going to bring this up two times magnification and then four so we can see the sunspots a little clearer. Because while this is a neat view, it does, it isn't um, real clear. It's really hard to really see what's going on with the sunspots. There we go. Now that's actually a much better view. I just had to re reset the app, that's all. That's actually better than I anticipated, to be honest with you. That is a gorgeous view. So I'm just going to switch this over to video mode and, and take a few seconds of this. And about 10 seconds ought to do it. go into four times magnification and we're going to move this over a little bit see this way we see a lot and the winds blowing a little bit that's all um, let me let me bring this over just a little bit more to kind of center it. All right. And I'm just going to grab another 10 or 15 seconds of this. And later I'll, I'll make a video uh, of this for today. Uh, we saw a bird fly by. All right. And that's going to be about it. Let me bring it back into one view or one times magnification. There it is. And now enable target correction so it'll keep it centered. And I'm also going to go into raw. So that, that's just a higher um, quality format, the highest one that the C Star provides, which is, it does provide pretty good detail. Excuse me, I do apologize for the. Um, lack of notice on this I, I i set up pretty much at random and i decided to do it early enough while it's still you know not too hot for the sea star um so um there we have it um and like i said uh, going back to um let me go back to um the orientation is obviously different. Uh, this sun, this sunspot here is over here on the C star, so you can go back, back and forth on that. You can see this. All right. So um, these numbered areas are regions of the sun. They have a designation for them, and that's that's why um, whenever you see uh, the numbers that are associated with the sunspots that are in that region okay and of course on here i'm anxious to see how the final video will will turn out whether or not i'll get all this surface detail as shown here that's that's really cool now if you want to see what's going on uh, deeper into the sun because we're only li we're limited to what we see on the sun because of the the filter that's applied to the front of the sea star and if we go into the sun now we'll see varying wavelengths uh filters 
that she used and this is the one that I'm also interested in so if I were to set up my H alpha telescope we would probably see some of this um, which would be pretty exciting okay and uh, you look at all the these active regions that are kind of associated across like you see here it corresponds with the sun the sunspot activity okay so that's uh, a look at the Sun for today and I'm gonna go back and see uh, we've only got about two minutes into it and as always if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask but here we can also see that there's some clouds going across so I don't know how good uh, the end result will be um, it probably won't be great because of the clouds it, it's amazing I, I set up just a few minutes ago and there, there was no clouds around the Sun that's just uh, I think Mother Nature has a sense of humor at times and uh, that's okay I've gotten plenty of, uh, of uh, video captures of the Sun and the moon with this sea star so uh, I'm not complaining but still I could do this every day I could study the Sun every single day if I had the time for it and the weather as well um, so I'm also going to provide a, a couple of uh, um, plugs um, uh, if you you know my name you you know that I also have an Instagram account and I also have a YouTube channel uh, where I've recorded um, uh, live video with the CD star and I've also recorded uh, videos and images of deep space objects and solar system objects so uh, if you would uh, please consider uh, also looking at that uh, those those Instagram and, and my YouTube channel too I do not get paid or accept an endorsement from anybody um, I do it for the love of the hobby um, but always appreciate a few more views of my videos well I don't want to bore you uh, you know looking at the same thing constantly so I'll stop the the presentation here and you guys hope you all enjoy a wonderful rest rest of your weekend and clear skies bye bye